What's going on, everybody? My name is Excalion, and it's been a minute since you've seen this face. I've uh, been a little busy, a little wrapped up with uh, the lack of internet, which has been stellar, let me tell you. Uh, two, two big thumbs up on that. Uh, I'm back now. Got internet again for now. Could be better very soon, but for now, uh, just kind of stay with the topic. Uh, back on Destiny, and I'm, 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 I'm both enjoying this season and, uh, and pretty frustrated with this season. Uh, for a couple of reasons, and you know, <laughs> story of my life, right? Like that's, I think that's everybody's feeling with with Destiny in general, usually. Um, but this season in particular, they did some really cool stuff, and then they did some really weird stuff. And I want to go over some of that, and I want to go over this poll that I ran. But the first thing I want to say is the Derelict Leviathan. Very cool. Very pleased with it. I'm glad they brought it back. The Leviathan is a place I think most of us that uh, enjoy Destiny 2 can can really uh, are really comfortable with. We really like it as a location. We spent a lot of time on the Leviathan doing the original raid and uh, the raid the raid I guess dungeons that were in there, and just really really enjoyable. And they did a pretty good job of bringing it back as kind of a patrol zone. I say kind of because it's not like it's not like a place where you can like like. Uh, fast travel to places or anything like that um you can't pull out your sparrow or anything like that but it's still it's like better than like what mercury used to be back when we had mercury uh, for uh the seat like the osiris stuff uh, so i i enjoy it um there's some cool stuff you know uh, of course a new material a couple new materials uh some you know new um new old you know kind of like patrols and stuff like that the public events that are on there are great there's not a not a lack of loot to be found there uh, a lot of stuff you can do and find a lot of lore stuff a lot of characters you know a lot of enemies and stuff um just some cool stuff now where it gets frustrating is the amount of, of you know weapons and stuff that you you have to get to to be able to craft crafting being a new feature of course they introduced with the witch queen and crafting is great i don't think anybody has really complained about crafting especially this season since they fixed it and you don't have friggin 37 materials that you have to find uh you have to have to get um it's just one material and to get the enhanced perks you need the uh the the the, the, the exotic material for the ascendant alloy uh, and that's it apart from that it's uh you know it, that that's 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 all you have to you just have to get those materials i think the resonant stuff too but 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 that's it and then you can craft a weapon and i think they made it a little bit cheaper weapon crafting all in all great uh, right now i give it a 10 out of 10 they did a great job with it, fixing it this season and i do really give it a 10 out of 10 um where it lacks is this season in particular finding the red border weapons to be able to craft them for like the opulent weapons and then the haunted weapons is it's it's rough it's really rough like you really really have to grind that stuff in order to do it and and the stuff that like you you can't get like of course you know there's the ability to to focus one opulent or haunted item a week and it's one or the other you don't get both you get one or the other and it's locked to once an account so you can't do it like one time each on each of your characters it's just once total that's it and then of course you uh for your first nightmare uh, nightmare containment completion you can get one um or your first opulent chest opening you get one you know red frame weapon deep sight resonated weapon and it's totally random you know <laughs> you, you, you might have something that you've already completed that, that really sucks that's happened to me a few times now i think i've gotten like eight or nine total uh deep sight off stringers and that's frustrating um i'm four out of five on beloved four out of five on drang i've got my mita done which is outstanding but finding that stuff is really really difficult and last season you could play any activities and get season of the risen you get the uh, the risen umbral energy and then to go and focus those it only costs like 10 of it and that's it and some legendary materials or whatever and that's that's all you have to do to focus uh your red frame or focus the regular ones with a chance of getting a red frame 
man, it's such a grind to get these materials this season. And then on top of it, it costs 27. I don't know who came up with that number in particular, but 27 opulent umbral energy to craft one. The other part of that is, and this is what I'm probably most frustrated with, is the only way to get, there's two ways to get opulent umbral energy. You get it from doing the nightmare containments, and you get it from doing these sever missions at the end. And the only way you get it from the sever missions is if you have a bond presence to turn in. That's it. That's all you get. And even then, whenever you complete the nightmare containment, you get like nine. It's really, really frustrating. You don't even get enough to make one weapon. Bungie, that's, that's a problem. And I really hope that we fix this before the season wraps up because that is kind of ridiculous and I, I, I'm not alone. I, I feel like that is the common consensus around the entirety of the community. That's really frustrating and that's that's what's got me broken this season. And and I'll, I'll, I'll also say, you know, a high point um, for me this season is, uh, is what they've done with... Um, with 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 the uh, with the, the 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 playlist weapons. Sorry, it's taking me a second. But the playlist weapons, the playlist weapons, are outstanding. Okay, so you guys can see that there. This is uh, this is a survivor's epitaph. And after a match, I've reset my my crucible rank five, four or five times this season, and I have three items to choose from on the fourth slot one item in that slot but um yeah that's really cool i got this earlier on but after i reset my rank the last time i got this sorrows verse and as you can see it's got three in the third column and two in the fourth column now in order to unlock the ability to do this you have to you have to reset your rank in whatever playlist it is. And of course your playlist, Crucible, Vanguards, and Gambit. The more you play those and you reset your rank, you have the chance of getting this stuff. The more times you reset it, my understanding, and from what I can see is the, the honest to God truth, the more times you reset, the higher chances you have of getting something like this. This is Bungie doing something right. And not just right, this is Bungie doing something great. This is awesome. Like this is this is how you do it. This is how you get loot to people. Whenever you have these weapons that have, you know, 12 traits in each of those columns to grind the god roll that you want, this is how you do it, Bungie. And I do applaud you for this. This is it. But this is it. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. This is it this season. Everything else is kind of meh. I ran a poll and uh, change back over. And, and don't get me wrong, I've only got a couple hundred subscribers, followers on Twitter. Don't get me wrong, this is, this is, this is not big news. 24 votes, but I ran it for a week. I got 24 votes, and this is what I came up with. So I asked the question, should, Destiny, should Destiny's PvP and game content be all-inclusive and accessible to everyone, or should PvE and game content fill that gap? Now, we talked about this a bit on the podcast, and even Sam, my friend Sam, Bat Sam, he is a self-proclaimed PVE guy. Doesn't really care for PvP too much. He gets in, gets his uh, gets his pinnacles, and and if he's interested in trials or something, then he might jump in there. But that's really it. Now, I'm gonna tell you what he said. You can go back and watch the podcast from last week. He even said. PvE content, there's more than enough stuff to hold people over. They, If they don't care for PvP, they don't have to touch PvP. They can touch Vanguard Strikes. They can touch Gambit. Anything like that. If they, they straight stay in the Strike playlist, they, they get the same chance to focus that stuff that I just showed you for the, for the PvP weapons. And not to mention, there's plenty of high-end PvE content. Plenty. There's no, no lack of it now. You can get pinnacles from all over the place. You got your, you got your Valve the Disciple raid. You've got your weekly rotator raid. You've got your new dungeon, duality dungeon. You've got your weekly rotator dungeon. Um, you know, Gambit. You know, pinnacle, Vanguard pinnacle. Uh, your uh, uh, 
your Nightfall Pinnacle, your GM if you do a GM. There are plenty of ways to get high-end loot. And I would say arguably more ways to get high-end loot than playing PvP. So, 37.5% of respondents said PvP should be inclusive. And 62.5% said PvE should fill the gap. I'm a PvP guy. I love PvP. This is no... Like, you guys know this. Like, this is this is my thing. This is my world. I'll give you a little history about me. I come from a place of playing a lot of Call of Duty with my friends. A lot of Modern Warfare. A lot of Modern Warfare 2 with my friends. Got pretty good at it for being, a, you know, a console guy. You know, back like old Xbox 360. At the same time, I also really, really loved Halo. And uh, Crisis. And other story-driven games. I know Halo had some PvP, but the story is, 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 is amazing in Halo. And I'm saying that to say I, I love both PvP and PvE. You know, I, I do this. I do, I do Grandmasters. I do Master Raids. I, I do all of that stuff. I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy that stuff. But I spend most of my time in PvP. So, like my friend Sam said, he was talking about your Souls style games, such as Sekiro, and his his frustration uh, with the way that Elden Ring was kind of handled there for a while, where they said it needed to be accessible, all inclusive to everybody. You know, it needed to be accessible for everybody to play. Here's a heads up: Souls games they're not for everybody. They're not for the faint of heart. You really, really have to grind and learn how to play a game differently to get a grip on those games. I'm not good at those games. I play them. They're fun to play, to, to try, but I'm not a master. I've never fully beaten any of them. Never claimed to have. Never never will, probably. It's not my cup of tea, really. I don't expect them to cater to me. They shouldn't cater to me. I'm not the audience. <laughs> right? Let me be very clear. I'm not the audience. I'm going to go over some takes here. My friend Zebedai on Twitter, he said, uh, Destiny is not a PvP game, so focus on PvE. And that's fair. That is fair. It's not... It is more of a PvE game than it is a PvP game. They do a great job with PvP so far as a game that's mostly a PvE game goes, though. Right? I think we can agree with that. They do a pretty good job. Sniper, which is a, a common viewer for the uh, the channel and the podcast, Sniper, I love Sniper, uh, says, speaking uh, how repetitive and boring PvE has been recently, I really think they should fix PvP first, as it's at least more replayable. PvP is, that's the thing about PvP. It is the most replayable thing in the game. And Royal Agonist says, I feel Destiny could learn a thing or two from Warframe. It's designed with PvE in mind first and foremost. I agree with that. I agree with all these takes. And it's frustrating because this is a game that I love and a lot of people love. So what do we do? Well, Bungie, I think you need to, you need to, 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 to get out of this, this, this identity crisis that you've been in for a long time, for a very long time. So, what can we do? Well, I think you do need to bear more mind to PvE and focus on PvE and catering to that group of people. And for the PvP players, no, just let them do their thing. Let them have their thing. Let them have their own meta. Let them have their own, uh, you know, whatever. You know, you've shown that you can separate, you know, a meta from PvE to PvP. Well, let's, let's do that. Maybe let the, you know, PvP players have their own sandbox. And give them the rewards for that. You know, we have great rewards now from just the regular playlist. Trials rewards are okay. I, I've talked about my frustrations with, uh, with the Adept weapons right now. And I think you can fix that again by giving them enhanced perks. But that's neither here nor there. I really, really think that, that Bungie needs to invest a little bit of time on the competitive playlist because that's where a lot of people like myself, 
a lot of my friends on Twitter would see themselves was as, as in is in the competitive playlist. Imagine, imagine if some of these some of these weapons, like the Riptide, you know, Survivor's Epitaph, they, they've got plenty of PvP weapons now. There's plenty. You got, you got the pulse rifle, the sniper, you got two hand cannons, uh, you've got the fusion, auto, Sorrow's Verse, the auto rifle. You got so many weapons now. Take those, update the Crucible playlist, give us better armor, give us chances for high stat armor like you get from PvE that you don't get from PvP, and give us chance for maybe a depth loot there. There's plenty of ways to do it. That would be. That would be my, my my idea for PvP. And then, yes, PvE should fill the gap for the people that don't... That, that, that you aren't catering the PvP to, right? You can cater to both. You can. It's possible. You've done it before. Plenty of games do it. <laughs> Plenty. But it's... it's you gotta, you gotta do both or... You know, I would say just pick a lane at that point in time. If you're not going to cater to both, just pick a lane and go all in on there. But that's my ideas. That's uh, going to do it for this video, guys. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you like this kind of content, I appreciate you so much for checking it out. And uh, thank you for uh, welcoming me back. It's been great so far. And I'm going to keep popping this content out now. So nothing else from me guys again i really do appreciate you all and godspeed my friends